A seizure, also known as FIT, can be caused by disruption to the electrical activity in the brain, which may lead to uncontrollable constructions in muscles and unresponsiveness. If a seizure occurs, the most common cause is epilepsy but it can be caused by other things such as alcohol poisoning, lack of oxygen, after a head injury, after taking certain drug, or with someone with diabetes having a hypo where the blood glucose is too low. So when someone having a seizure, you may find they have a sudden loss of unresponsiveness, rigid body with arcing back, noisy and difficult breathing, convulsive, jerky and controlled movements, saliva in the mouth which could be blood stained if they're bitten their tongue or cheek, possible loss of bowel or bladder control. Afterwards, they may be confused, tired and fall into a deep sleep. So if you see someone having a seizure, you should always remember to protect them from harming themselves during the feat. And clear away objects that can harm them during the feat. Don't move or restrain them and make note of the time when the seizure has started and how long it lasted. Then, protect their head by placing something soft underneath or around it. And loosen any clothing around their neck. Once the seizure has stopped, open the airway and check their breathing. So if they, if they are breathing, put them in the recovery position. So if they stop breathing at any point, Prepare to treat someone unresponsive and not breathing. Monitor the level of response. Call 911 for emergency help if it's the person's first seizure. The cause is unknown. They're having a repeated seizure. Their seizure lasted more than 5 minutes. They are unresponsive for more than 10 minutes or they have sustained an injury. And that's how you treat someone having a seizure.